Yep. Yep. Okay, so right here. I have a snail vine. I call it a snail vine. I don't know the actual. What is the actual? Carolina snail seed. Carolina snail seed. Because when the berries, the seeds inside the tiny red berries that it produces, supposedly, although I've never actually seen any of the berries myself, the seeds inside the red berries uh, have a snail shell shape. Sometimes also it's called a coral bead. Also for the seeds. Yeah, it's native. The Carolina. It seems it. It's technically native to Texas, but it's it's axe invasive. Yeah. So we're gonna try to get rid of it and put sweet potato in the place. Okay. How is he pre digging? Because I know it goes deep. Plus, I want to play with sweet potato. Yeah. Okay. And it still wasn't even enough, was it? No. Shit. That root just it. Maybe this is cast iron. Is this cast iron? Lots of cars driving by. It's one of those most difficult plants to get rid of, in my opinion. Which, cast iron or Carolina's Carolina, yeah. Cast iron, easy to get rid of. Well, not when there's a whole bunch of bulbs nearby. Then it just turns into like second rate ginger. Ginger is impossible to get rid of in this whole bunch of bulbs come close together because you just dig and you just hit dead bulb right. and then you I'm dig somewhere it. else and you hit more dead bulb. I hold this for you. Right here. Amazing, isn't it? Okay, can we let go? So I mean, can you pull that out? Sorry. Okay. Yeah, slowly. It's not extra. Extra okay. What? Wait, are you leaving it in? A chunk of rock? Yeah. Why? Airy soil? Yeah, sure. I don't know. Alright, and then I'm gonna take this hole. There's a problem with digging something. Get there. Shovel. Wow! I have a hole here, anyways. Oops, sorry. Let's keep it down. Alrighty, can you get over on this? Okay. And we're going to water these guys more than we used to, see if anything will... Because, I mean, this is good dirt. Uh-huh. No, wait, well, wait, you put that in before I put this dirt. I mean, this is... Look at that. That's really... Um, maybe not alive it's, it's dirt. It's carbon-rich, but yeah, it's dead. It's dead. It's just it's matted. Yeah, miscellaneous roots matted. Maybe we need to there. put some microbiotics or something yeah. in there. I think what would help is if we um we take one of the, like the samples of um like a really nice high fade really nicely high fade uh collection of leaves and stuff. And just stick them down there. Maybe it'll help break down the leaves faster. Also, while the leaves keep away, you know, the sunlight from baking out the moisture and slow down some of the compaction, it still still isn't still life. There you go. I'm surprised the morning guard didn't come up that much. Like, they're supposed to be come up a lot more, I think. Maybe it's because I transplanted all the seeds to other places. Oh, I know that's enough from three seeds. It's just the environmental conditions of the year. What? Is that a whole other one just by itself? I wonder why they make, like, sometimes the plants make one giant sweet potato, and sometimes they make, like, a whole bunch of tiny, tiny ones. I wonder why they do that. And over here, we've only been finding tiny, tiny ones. Maybe yeah, because, because again, the quality of the soil? 
That's true, yeah. That's the reason why I want to put more in here, spread out. Okay. So that we can, uh, water it more and then... You could water it more. It's just, then it'll help you feel better about watering it more. Yeah. So you can because not feel no guilty about watering it. Yeah, yeah. We got it now. Yeah. Oh, look at this pretty leaf. This one's nice and wet. This one's wet. Yeah. But I mean, even like that spot right there, is that just because of the sun? That's why it's all dry already? No, no, I just didn't water that one as much because I thought that was the morning glory. That's not a morning glory. That's a sweet potato? Mm. This one is, at least. Those might be. Mm. Yeah, these might be morning glories. They have kind of a softer, fuzzy leaf. Up higher. I already need to be able to have a walk way right through here. Fine. Put in the small one. Well, oh, there's two there. Yeah. Neat. Kind of two. Not particularly. Kind of <laughs> two. What about that one? You just want to pop it off? Or you want to plant it? Okay. Just be funny. Now that one we can, I think we could pop off. And actually, even the other one we could pop off because it already has roots. You just place, put it in a place where it can get water to find so tall. Alright, well then. Wait, wait, I'm not done. Yeah, well the video's at 8 minutes long. say we were going to put the turkey cap there, but I mean, this is fine. Oh, yeah, but I can't put the turkey cap until I know it's going to be watered really well. Yeah. Okay. And I might as well be watering the turkey really well. Because well, you could have taken it a bit closer to the edge, but uh, that's fine. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
it only has to grow up instead of grow down. Well, I mean, it, 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 it grows down too, but. It's three things it's growing out too. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that's the sweet potatoes grown. This, I mean, grown. Planted. Planted. Will be grown. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. No, I want it going that way. No, I want it going this way. No. Mm -hmm. Um, it'll split. You should have planted it, 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 have planted it here then if you want to be going that way. It's going to have a split. Um, okay, so there's just these two. So this all area is okay. all rewatered. Hmm? This whole area needs to be rewatered. You can. Now there are potatoes. Should I go ahead and see if there's any potato potatoes in here? Yeah, go ahead. Hold on, let's start. Uh, 